Cairo is running off with the a walnut. And there goes the mesh. Right on my carpet. A boop. A boop. A boop. What you doing, Cairo? Huh? Oh, let me see your belly. Oh, you're so cute. Officials say this week there have been more customers in Texas without power than there were during Hurricane Harvey. Texas experienced a great humanitarian crisis largely caused by forced blackouts. And in their bedroom, I don't know what to do. When I first walked out and saw it, I lost my mind. A frozen pipe burst at Kiana Vance's downtown Dallas apartment parking garage leaked water all over her car. He's not having it. He's screaming. We can't put him back in his cage yet because the bird building is just completely shut down right now. Everything is frozen out there. Poor baby. Our little wren, Silky Chicken, has developed an upper respiratory from the cold. We had heat lights on them, but because the power kept going off time and time again, they were without a heat lamp. We've got chicken antibiotics for upper respiratory that we're giving her in water. Okay guys, this is what I'm using for little Wren with her respiratory. She's doing better. This is a antibiotic for poultry. Um, I'm warming up her water and just sucking up the amount that I want. All right, Texas unicorns. This is the Alyssa cam. We're on day four of this winter storm. I'm out here collecting wood, listening to the weird noises and getting wood. All right, mom, back to you. <laughs> we stocked up on all of our items. Who's that? Oh, hi, Molly. Pine for the horse stalls, but by the end of this week, we're definitely gonna need more. The birds in that back room have a space heater. Um, look it. So this is um, the nuts that I just gave him for breakfast. Here's the bucket of snow that I just showed you. It took about half a day in front of the fireplace. Some people might have better methods that it will unthaw faster. This is gonna work really great for us, for our toilets, because we do not have water still. All right, I'm gonna go and clean my toilets, guys. And I forgot to mention also, when you've got a big bucket like this, you want to put the water into the toilet pretty fast so that it flushes it. Don't pour it in slow. All right, guys, I'm in the bird building. It is 40 degrees in here. Oh, man. All the bowls that were left in here. Here's Boo's water bowl. It's just full of ice. It has been a very challenging week. Day six, it is up to 40 degrees finally. We had a low again last night of 18 degrees. Texas is just normally not used to the teens, let alone when it was zero and below this last week for this winter storm. I'm warming up the bird building, hoping to get it to 60, 65 degrees. We're doing good though. All the animals are good. Our little chicken named Wren that I showed you 
is doing better. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification bell so you get future video updates. It just turned on. What? The water in the sink. Oh. Oh my goodness. Go check everything. Uh, the sinks. The water literally just turned on, guys. Yay, running water. It's day seven, Sunday. Look at all the kitties. It's 75 degrees, seven days later after the terrible Texas winter storm. Jet's taking a nap. Looks like a dead horse to me. Everyone happy? So hot. Life is good.